When you're building your sales funnel out on WordPress, one of the obvious things that you're going to want to try to do is make more money from every single sale. So there are two primary ways to do this, actually three, and those are upsells, downsells, and order bumps, okay? Now, an order bump is kind of like a light version of an upsell, and it's what we want to talk about in this video, and specifically how to use it with Cartflows, which is a WordPress sales funnel building plugin. So, with an order bump, it's kind of like if you were to go to the checkout at your local grocery store, and you've done all of your shopping, you've picked up the things that you needed, that you went in to buy, and then once you got to the register, suddenly you have all of these candies and these little flashlights and lighters and air fresheners and all these little things that you had no idea that you needed. And essentially, what they're asking you to do is, is say, hey, add one of these to your cart now for only $7 or for only $3. Go ahead and add it right there into your shopping cart, uh, literally, so that when you check out, you're increasing ever so slightly the average order value, okay? So all of your grocery stores are doing this, you know, Walmart's doing this, everybody else is doing this, um, you might as well do this also. And there are some really great ways to do this right here inside of a WordPress sales funnel. Now, I've got two other videos that I am working on. One of them is going to show you how to do this on Studio Cart, which is another sales funnel building plugin I recommend inside of WordPress. And another one is going to be using Fluent Forms Pro, which isn't a sales funnel plugin that actually has some really great sales funnel functionality like order bumps built right in. Okay. So in this video, we're going to look at cart flows. So if we go to our cart flows dashboard, we need to uh, essentially create a funnel and add a product to it. So what we're going to actually do first, so we can come right here and look at our current flows just to kind of get our, get our bearings. And what we want to do is add a new flow. And we're just going to start from scratch. We could choose one of these templates if we really wanted to. My internet's being a little slow this morning, so they're not even loading up for some reason. But that's okay. We'll go with the flow, uh, literally. And so on this, we're just going to say product, product funnel. Okay, we're just going to keep it, keep it light. So we're going to create our flow. Okay, now we have our flow created, and when you decide to create one from scratch, you create it from a blank template, this is what we are left with. We're left with a sales landing page, a checkout page, and then a thank you page. That's fine for now. We're not going to change that necessarily because all we're really concerned with is in our checkout. Now, notice that there's no product assigned. Okay, there's no product assigned to that yet. And if we were to go view and check out, well, we don't want to look at it there. We actually want to edit it. If we were to edit this step on our funnel, you would see that we get an option for an order bump. Okay, if we go to order bump and enable order bump, here you also have to search for a product, but we have no options, right? So I need to assign at least two products in order to get this checkout with an order bump off the ground. So what we're going to do is go to WooCommerce. So Cartflows uses WooCommerce as a way to handle the actual shopping cart functionality. So essentially, Cartflows is like an extension for WooCommerce. It takes the shopping cart and gives it sales funnel functionality, okay? So if we go to WooCommerce, what we're going to do is we're going to go actually to products and we're going to add a new product. And we'll just say leave site for now. It's okay. We don't need to make these edits just yet. And we're going to just... Uh, keep it real simple and say, we're going to call this product one, publish that, and we're going to come right here and do a second product, and we'll call this one product two, keeping it original here on Funnel Talk. All right, so there's our products. Now, of course, you could view the product, but see, this isn't what we're doing. So this is like the standard, out-of-the-box, you know, WooCommerce um, uh, look, okay? And actually, there's a way to hide these pages when you're doing your sales funnel. I'll put that in another video, all right? So um, we're going to go back to our flow now. So we're going to go to cart flows, and we're going to go to flows. 
and we have oh, accidentally created two of those a while ago. Oh, that is okay. We'll just go, let's delete this one so that we don't have it in our way. And we'll go back to this. Okay, product funnel. And now we have our checkout and we have our uh, order bump. So in our checkout here, we are going to edit that. And then for products, we're going to go ahead and assign a new product. And for this, we're going to assign product one. Okay, product one, add a product. Now we get some configuration options here. Of course, we didn't give it a price or anything like that. So um, actually, you can create a product from right here too, which is pretty cool. And you have lots of options down here. Um, not really things that we want to cover in this video, but just so you know, like variations, quantity, you can enable those things right in your sales funnel, which is super awesome for e-commerce. So we're going to save our settings. Okay, and now we'll go to our order bump. Now in our order bump, we enable that and now we choose another product. Okay, so we start typing and now we have product two in our order bump. And now we have some settings, okay? We can look at the pricing options. We can choose an image. So maybe we have an image for this uh, order bump that we would like to use. And then the order bump position. Now, this is something that you're gonna wanna experiment with. You could even do some A-B testing with this if you really wanted to. But with this right here, you could choose, well, let's see where it's the most effective to actually place our order bump. A lot of times, you're not gonna know for your specific funnel until you do the testing, okay? So, um, you can start with the default and go from there and do some testing if you want to to make sure it's right. And then you have a, a place, of course, to put your product description. So that's dummy text for now. So we'll just leave it there. And then highlight text at the checkbox label. You will see what this means. So the idea is that they're already in the process of buying from you. All we want them to do is simply check a little box to say what they want to add this to the order and it's done. There's no advanced, you know, configuration and all of that. Nothing that we want to do there. Now you can actually use your order bump to replace the first product if you want to. So maybe the order bump is an upgraded version of product number one. And if that's the case, then you're going to want to use this to replace the first product because essentially they're saying, Oh, I want this upgraded version of the product instead. So make sure that you choose that option. And then right here, you can choose where they go to the next step after they purchase the order bump if you'd like to. So we're going to hit save settings. Okay. Now what we, what we want to do is actually uh, give this give this a look-see. So if we go right here, obviously we see we don't have any checkout information yet on the page. And of course, that's because we need to add our short code to the page in order to get the form to show up. Okay. So we're going to come over here to settings and we're going to grab our checkout short code and hit copy. Okay, now we're going to come right here and view our funnel. We'll delete that one out. And we're going to enable the visual builder from Divi. I like to use Divi as my page builder to be able to style things and make things look really great. So I'm gonna hit build from scratch and we'll go here and add a text module. And I will delete that text and just paste my short code hit our check mark and hit save. All right, and now you see I had to go back in and actually set a price for each of my products. I neglected to do that earlier. So make sure your products actually cost something uh, in order to make this work, or at least give it a zero if you're gonna make it free. You actually can sell free products as well using a sales funnel, which is pretty cool. But now our checkout option shows up and of course, you'd have to configure your payment methods and things like that. We haven't gone through to that step in the tutorial here thus far. Just wanted you to be able to see the order bump. And so this is the one-time offer order bump text that we have added. And so the idea here is that just before they hit place order, if they select, yes, I will take it, it actually adds this to their subtotal. And now they get that it's $2 instead of $1. So two products instead of $1. One. So using an order bump on your WordPress sales funnel will help increase those conversions, increase that average cart value, and that's how you win the game.
All right. If you are interested in using CartFlows to create sales funnels for your WordPress website, I would love it if you would um, check out how to access that using my affiliate link. And that will be below in the description. If you decide to use that, I will send you a free gift if you just send the receipt on to my email address. And uh, I'll send you to a page where you can see all the instructions for how to do that. All right, you guys take care and we'll see you in the next video.